Hello dear students let us continue our class for grammar in the previous class we have seen the two forms of uh, present tense that is simple present tense which we also call as indefinite tense and the other one is present continuous tense today let us see the remaining two forms of present tense one will be present perfect tense and the other one is present perfect continuous tense so let us start with present perfect tense how is a present perfect tense formed the present perfect tense is formed with has which we use for singular have which we use for plural and plus the past participle which is also called the third form all right now if you want to form a negative sentence in a present perfect form then what would you have to do is that you just have to put the word not after has or have whichever is applicable and what if if you have to form an interrogative sentence in a present perfect form then you have to you know uh, place has have before the subject and also the most important thing question mark at the end all right if you look in your text page 18 there is a table given two tables on you know left and right hand side the left hand side table will clearly explain you about this uh, the negative formation of present perfect whereas the right hand side table tells us about the interrogative formation of present perfect as i have already told you right just right now now there are certain places which we have to you know keep in mind with regard to the uses of present perfect tense the present perfect tense is used firstly to express a recently completed action an action which got over just now for example I have just finished my work. Now see, most of you you might get confused when you see the word finished, S H E D. Even though the word finished is in past form, but if you see the complete sentence that I am talking about, I have H A V E, right? Had it been in past, had the sentence been in past form, then it would have been had H A D. But it is not H A D. It is H A. v e and as i told you plus finished is the past participle okay the third form of the verb next present perfect tense is also used to express past actions when the time is not given and also it is not definite for example have you had your breakfast no see have you had your breakfast correct present perfect tense the third point it is also used to express past actions or events the results of which are still present i repeat an action or an event which took place in the past but however the result of that particular action or that particular event is still present okay now the prisoners have escaped from the jail now see this prisoners they have already escaped before okay the action took place in the past but the result that means still you know they are they are not present still they they are not being found okay so the result is still present the prisoners have escaped from the jail next uses of present perfect tenses to express an action that began in the past and continuous up to the present moment okay it started in the past but however up till the present moment it is still continuing now i'll give you an example we have waited all day okay we have waited all day that means the person or we okay those people they started you know they have been waiting right from the past but however even at the present moment they are still waiting okay the action began in the past but even right now they are still waiting we have waited all day but there are certain points to remember while when it comes to the uses of present perfect tense that is present perfect tense expresses the completion of an action by now and not an action done at a definite time okay so something an action which got completed by now even though it doesn't matter even if the action started in the past but it got completed by now but remember it should not be that an action which all which is already done at a definite time in the past no next point to remember is that this particular tense that is uh, present perfect it expresses the present state of a completed action 
that means an action that got completed before but however what is the present condition what is the present state of that action that is what is described in present perfect and the third thing which you have to remember for this tense is that this tense must never be used with a definite time in the past which i've already told you for example you never use uh, with the past such as yesterday last month or week ago okay such type of uh, definite time which is which already describes about past never use this present perfect tense now let us go to present perfect continuous tense now how to form a present perfect continuous tense so it is actually if you see it's a mixture of present perfect plus continuous present perfect continuous so we have already done present perfect we have done present continuous so it's a combination now this tense is formed by have has and also plus been and plus the verb and ing form and how to form the negative sentence of for a present perfect continuous tense same okay you have there there must be have has been verb ing but one thing which you have to add is that you have to place not the word not after have or has and what about interrogative how to form an interrogative sentence the same have has been verb ing but the interrogative is formed this have and has you have to add this word before the subject i repeat it must be before the subject okay and obviously the question mark at the end what about the uses of present perfect continuous tense the first uses is that to express an action which began in the past and is still continuing something which started in the past and it is still continuing for example it has been raining since morning okay next uses is that to express an action which has already finished an action which is already finished but whose effect or result still persists all right for example if i give you you might be like i hope you'll be able to understand better with the example she is shivering because she has been suffering from fever okay now look here an action which has already finished she has been suffering from fever okay it is because the effect or the result is still now look here she is shivering right now she is shivering but why is she shivering because she has been suffering from fever so she was suffering right now she doesn't have fever but however the effect the result is still there she is still shivering next uses of present perfect continuous tenses the word for and since are commonly used in this tense as the word for f o r for shows a period of time up to now and the word since shows some point of time in the past so it means from that point to the time of speaking okay so that is why this two words are you'll find very are being very frequently used in present perfect continuous tense and let me give you an example uh, such as the uh, phrases like for 3 hours for 5 days for a long time or since evening since 1960 since 7 am since monday huh? but there are some things which you have to you know keep in mind like the words such as since last week or since last month last year or for the last one week two months three years huh? for the last one week for the last two months for the last three years these things also you have to note down when you use the word present or uh, when you use the sentence present perfect continuous tense form so with this we come to the end of this chapter so if we just summarize in brief what have we learned in this chapter that is the present per, the present tense refers to the present time first of all secondly the simple present tense states an action or event of the present and it does not say anything about the completeness of an action okay the simple present tense and whereas the present continuous tense it tells us is it indicates that an action is still in progress in the present time also okay but it is incomplete it is still in progress and it is incomplete it is still going on present continuous tense and what about present perfect tense the present the present perfect tense tells that the action happening in the present is complete i repeat the action happening in the present is complete present perfect tense and what about present perfect continuous tense 
it indicates that the action has been in progress in the present okay clear so with this we come to the end of this chapter just go through all the points go through your text okay and if you have any query you can get back to me god bless you